Uh, first of all, I, I want to, to show you uh, the, the Tosca template, uh, just to, to have an idea um, of what uh, it contains. Uh, this is a, a, a YAML file um, that, that uh, contains uh, the uh, topology uh, description of the, uh, the job that we want to, to run. In this case, uh, uh, since we are uh, uh, talking about uh, parameter sweep uh, test, uh, um, the, the, this file contains uh, the, uh, the description of uh, more than one job. Um, so uh, there is uh, an input section uh, where uh, uh, the, the user, uh, where, uh, an input session, section where there are some parameters that, that are needed to customize the, the template and the submission of this template. Uh, so for example, the, the token that is needed to uh, access, to mount uh, the, the user data space where the input files and the output files uh, will, will be written. Um, then there are uh, other parameters like uh, the input path, uh, the output path for each of the jobs, uh, the file name uh, of the, um, uh, the products that will be generated by the job, um, the, the number of cores uh, and uh, the quantity of RAM that is needed to run the job, and uh, the Docker image that will be used to run this, uh, this job, and then uh, there is, the, the, uh, in this case, uh, the, uh, the parameter that we want to, uh, to sweep. Uh, in uh, this case, uh, we have the temperature parameter that can, uh, um, uh, can, can be valued with three different values. Um, and then uh, there is uh, the uh, specification, uh, the definition of the, uh, the jobs, the, the nodes uh, uh, of the jobs uh, that simply um, uh, relates uh, the, uh, the, the properties of the, of the job with the, the input parameters. Um, in this case, uh, I will use uh, a, a Docker image that I have uh, built uh, starting from uh, the one uh, um, provided me by uh, Fernando. Um, this is uh, uh, built uh, starting from uh, this Docker file. Okay, this is the Um, so uh, this Docker file starts from uh, an Ubuntu uh, trusty uh, image, base image. Then there are a lot of uh, uh, instructions that uh, are needed to, uh, uh, to compile and to, to build the software that uh, is, is needed by, by the job. Um, there are some tricks uh, that uh, I have, of course, implemented to shrink uh, the image since the, uh, the original one uh, was uh, two gigabyte uh, of size, uh, and this is uh, one gigabyte. So I, uh, but uh, um, uh, I think that uh, we can optimize the image uh, uh, further. So um, I have then a simple script that is used to, uh, to run. It's a, ra a wrapper script. This one. Um, that uh, is, uh, is used to, to run the, the, the application. Inside this script, which is uh, a wrapper, um, uh, I, I first of all mount the input and output data spaces, and then I uh, run, um, I, um, I change the temperature field. Uh, this is done for the parameter sweep. So um, I have, uh, as environment variable, uh, the temperature that is uh, changed inside the input file on the fly. And then I run uh, the software. 
So I can show you the submission. Okay. Uh, to submit a job uh, uh, to, the, to the orchestrator, uh, uh, I use the deployments uh, endpoint of the orchestrator. Um, in the body uh, of the request, uh, we need to, um, to put uh, the input parameters. In, the ca in this case, I need a, a one da data token, so I go to the one data web we. To fetch uh, the token, the client token, so I can uh, uh, create a new token or use one of the, the ones I had already generated. Copy paste inside these two fields. Um, Okay, the output uh, will be generated uh, um, inside uh, uh, these uh, these folders. I can show you my data space, which is uh, hosted by uh, our Recasbari cloud provider, um, that one provider. So inside my uh, default space, uh, I have uh, this uh, uh, folder where I have uh, the, the output folder, which is empty. And now I submit uh, uh, the, the request um, where, as you can find, you can see here uh, I have the Tosca template uh, that I showed you before. So I send uh, the post request. The orchestrator returns me the UID of the uh, deployment that I can monitor. The deployment is in progress, and in fact, I can uh, uh, go to uh, the Kronos uh, web, UI, web UI when uh, where I can see that the tasks are uh, running. One is already completed. Oops. Okay, they are. Uh, they have just uh, finished. So I can uh, go to the orchestrator and uh, um, send a GET request to see that the state is uh, complete and I can uh, retrieve the output uh, refreshing the page of uh, the OneData um, user interface. So I have the three folders that correspond to the three models that I've run. And here I have uh, the, the output uh, that uh, I, I simply made a tar uh, an archive of, uh, the, uh, of the folder with uh, the input and the output just uh, for this proof of concept. Um, I can see that uh, the temperature uh, um, was uh, um, different for each run because uh, from the Kronos uh, interface I can uh, um, browse the um, um, I can browse uh, the, the sandbox of the job uh, and uh, uh, the, the wrapper script uh, uh, makes uh, um, a, a grep at the beginning on uh, the, the temperature. So in this, in this case, the temperature was uh, five and uh, in the other, for example, this one,
the temperature was set to 3. So I can cross-check that the input file was correctly modified according to the input uh, uh, that I set in the, in the request here. Okay, so uh, this is uh, my, my demo.